the final frontier. These are the voyages of the YouTube channel, Darth Craig. It's continuing mission to explore strange new PVP teams, to seek out new meta and new hero synergies, to carelessly go where no one has gone before. Good afternoon, my dungeon boss brethren. It is another Team Lab Thursday. Today marks our first episode into transition of actually um, building some labbed out teams and practicing actual concepts in PvP, not just fun, whimsical, random PvP. Um, as mentioned, my um, idea of doing some sort of a finale for the previous um, series, if you will, was sort of dashed by the change into a league-based system. So I was kind of hastened a little bit, and here I am uh, starting the new season, a new concept of dealing with PvP. So today's uh, team that we're going to focus on is uh, we're going to be trolling around down in Silver League. Uh, our team is going to be using Echo, Torchy, uh, Abigail, and Nub Nub. By and large, that team is what I use mostly uh, through my trek from basically from the bottom up up until uh, currently Warlord to where I'm at. It's by no means an auto win team, uh, definitely not. Um, it does win more than it lost, so my win percent is 66% uh, right now. Um, the defense percent here is not this team, so that is uh, not the same. But you can see, looking at my numbers here, 66% wins. I have 90 wins and 47 losses. Um, so this thing loses plenty off, and I'm going to get to that in just a little bit. Um, because, like I said, it's not an auto-win team. This was also really my first foray into uh, long-term repeated PvP, not just um, random PvP. So I needed to get a baseline in terms of what I'm going to see for teams and such. Uh, this was the team that I picked, um, and truthfully, um, let me let me get into a raid here just uh, a second here. So let's just pick one here. Um, the way that I originally chose this was. Um, with Masuda instead of Torchy. Um, Masuda is criminally um, terrible against uh, Rogar. So I, I picked Masuda, spent a lot of XP potions to boost him up to 75 to be, um, you know, right up there. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you, the, um, the lack of stars in PvP, if you've not experienced this yet, uh, stars are a critical facet, especially down here in Silver League. Um, rolling against five star folks, not as big of a deal. Rolling against six star, um, it is it is tough sledding. So rather than a team composition, and, and I'll work on team composition for, for next week, um, really what you need is you, you gotta have six star heroes. If you're going in uh, without six star heroes, you are at a major disadvantage. Um, Specifically with Rogar, so why I swept out or sl uh, <clears throat> sorry switched out Masuda with Rogar being armored, um, Masuda was doing almost no damage. I wasn't getting around to getting either the um, uh, assassinate or dim mock, and those those abilities were great um, when you got to use them. But he got killed so early in so many fights, and I'm like, man, I need another star here. Um, and so I brought in uh, Torchy instead because Torchy's got six star. Um, the only thing that sucks for my example here is Torchy was underleveled compared to the rest of my team. And you'll even see here that I I ran out of um, uh, XP potions. I wasn't even able to get uh, Abigail up to Nub Nub's level. So, um, but the idea for this team here was uh, ultimately when I first thought about it was to first put Echo in there to recharge everybody and uh, get the energy flowing a little bit sooner rather than later. Uh, Abigail comes in and does the uh, attack boost for the team, and then Torchy comes in with his first hit um, with the idea of essentially nuking somebody in the first round. That was my major goal here. Uh, as I started to get into some of the teams, uh, the defensive team comps ultimately made this uh, a little bit tough, like this um, uh, example that I'm going against now. 
Hundred percent guarantee. I kill Nub Nub in the first round. Six star uh, Rogar. I cannot kill him in the first round. But I go out and I kill Nub Nub. What happens? Emily comes along and she just uh, revives him. So then we're like, okay, that was all for naught. And at that point, Nub Nub comes out and he uh, starts whipping out all of his heels and then his tough sledding. Uh, at that point, so. Um, I'm going to show you what that uh, looks like. We'll just do this one here. Uh, the other um, major defender in there is going to be William. Um, this Abigail and Zen in the middle is not uh, common from what I've seen. Um, but William's really thrown a wrench in my team as well, uh, which will be part of the things that I workshop for next week. Uh, but this is the order that I use. Um, when I had gone against uh, Emily teams, this will work out a little bit better this time. Um, theoretically, because William's not there. William has been uh, a real cock blocker in terms of uh, trying to finish the job on some folks because he uh, jumps in front of you when you try to kill them, and that sucks. Um, but one of the things that I've been doing for teams like this here is I would take uh, Echo, for example, break the shield, and now I can uh, double whammy on Emily, and then ultimately just... Uh, See, that was a single whammy because she was uh, lowered altogether. Uh, but ultimately, what I would do then is just try to weather the storm against uh, Rogar, for example. Um, like, Masuda was getting one shot all the time. Abigail uh, struggles big time against um, Rogar as well because she's not armored. Torchy usually is okay because he's flying. He's got that innate damage reduction. Um, I don't know if this will kill him or not. Let's give it a try. Yeah, see, if it would have been a two-banger on Dub Dub, um, we would have absolutely taken care of him. But that first part here. So this particular Rogar, um, I'm guessing whoever owns this um, this account, I, I didn't see it. They likely do not have his um, skills leveled up because that was incredibly low. Uh, 68 Rogar at this point here should have um, definitely mopped the floor with um, Abigail. Um, but really, it's a matter of getting through this first round. Once I get to the first round and I'm able to heal with Nub Nub, that gives me a little bit of a buffer. Um, the only downside here is that, um, you know, Zen protected Nub Nub. I could have done without that. Um, but we're going to put all of our efforts against Rogar here, uh, which we should be able to beat him. If not, we're going to silence him. And we'll get him on the, well, we won't get him on the next turn because Nub Nub's going to heal. But you can kind of guess there wasn't really much we could do on this front here. We just have to kind of wait it out. With Nub Nub losing his um, protection now, we could focus on killing him. Um, it's going to be easier to kill Nub Nub than it would be to kill Rogar uh, because of our elemental advantage. Uh, so that seems a smart play to do here. Um, it's going to take two rounds for me to kill Rogar. It's just, unfortunately, that's what it's going to take. Um, so we pound Nub Nub uh, into the ground and then... Just try to take on Rogar. There, we got him. So Torchy did some some nice damage there. Now it's just um, slow play to win here. We can um, just auto basic this one uh, until the cows come home. So, yeah, so usually you swap out someone like Zen on this team with, uh, let's say, William. Um, makes it a lot more challenging. I, maybe I shouldn't have done auto attack there because he... Did that nonsense um i'll take it off i guess um just do him the old-fashioned way but yeah william makes that team a little bit more challenging it makes my team uh, quite a bit less successful uh, against it just because of the uncertainty and dealing with um you know william taunting that certainly um impacts things jumping in front of of enemies um and saving them that's another thing all right I love dodgy little guy here. Um, but that's a typical win that I would get uh, with this team here. Certainly not um, a pure stomping. Um, maybe not as much at risk as I typically would experience uh, going against that, but they had some variance in their teams. Um, so looking at uh, Rogar, for example. So the difference in, in Rogar. So this one should be similar to what the previous one was, except for now we have uh, William in there. Um, I fought this guy a couple times already. I don't think I've actually beaten him yet, uh, just because of Rogar. 
Uh, the difference between five stars and six stars, from what I gather at my level right now, is roughly about 10 levels. So this uh, 77 five-star Rogar is about a 67 or 68 uh, six-star which is what we just saw in the previous one, but I, I have a suspicion that the previous person did not have their attacks leveled up. Um, it would not surprise me if he rolls through and uh, one-shots two of my guys on here. So this particular one, the, the goal is to ultimately nuke Nub Nub first um, and hope that William doesn't step in front of him. Um, like I said, it seems to be hit or miss. Uh, I don't use uh, William myself. I'm probably going to use him eventually uh, because of that mechanic. Uh, but I have not been able to. Um, I've not been able to determine how and when he jumps in front. Um, other than I think it's a percent chance that he jumps in front of an attacker uh, that would be a kill shot, for example. So I don't know if it does that with uh, crit or if it just looks at raw numbers. I don't really know. Um, the reason we go after Nub Nub first is we pretty much have to nuke the healers first, and honestly, he's the lowest level out of this here, so he should die. Um, but we can't let these uh, six-star heroes hang around with um, tons and tons and tons of um, healing going on. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one here now, um, obviously, uh, Ella's going to hurt me too. She's going to... Whatever her thing is, she's going to get one of my guys, and I'm going to attack my whole team. But I think that will be less damning than having Rogar do his AoE attack, so I'm ultimately going to silence Rogar. Um, and I don't think it's going to matter anyways, because we got to deal with um, William. But we got to the end of the first turn, we get our heals off, um, and now it's just a matter of, of surviving. Um, so they got their Aegis Wall, which uh, truthfully sucks. Nothing we can really do about that. Um... So try to kill somebody weak, but if she's going to be dodgy, she's going to be dodgy. And William's going to taunt here, I think. Yep, there he is. And now uh, he's got shield and taunt, and Rogar's going to be off silence, and that'll be that. So um, that's the downside about using this particular team. William um, hurts this team quite a bit. Um, because my primary damage is from fire. I don't get the extra bonus that I want. Um, the counter to that is using nature against William, but then Rogar comes along and stomps them. So my thought is um, to be largely light and dark against this mechanic, uh, maybe get some sort of light or a dark tank in there uh, in order to prevent um, Rogar from having any real advantage. And then maybe I would uh, get through it that way. I don't mind losing uh, Abigail right away. Um, as long as Torchy stays alive. Again, he's got that innate damage reduction, so he should be good against both of these guys for the most part. Um, I, I usually don't like to keep um, Rogar along alive that long, but sometimes there's just no way around it. Um, as long as he's shielded, and if I can keep on attacking somebody else, I'm going to I'm gonna keep going for that. Because um, I feel like I'm right... Yeah, if she didn't dodge, I'm, I'm right there. She would have been dead this turn. Um, and that would have been that. She's a shifty one. Alright, well, I'm going to silence Rokar just because. Alright, that... All right, unfortunate that I uh, lost Torchy. But we got our heals back. I'm going to focus on single. Now I'll do the real heals first. Um, and then bonus damage to armored. Yes, please. That's all going to do that. Um, I do. The bonus damage is great, but stun is better saves me from his whatever jackhammer ability um we should be able to get him with this here because all of them are going to hit just underwhelming damage even at six stars you know echo well four level disparity there but we got him at this point so um so a lot of a lot of close matches like that is is what i typically experience with this team which is probably why the um, the win-loss ratio is what is what it's at. I, you know, I win twice as many as I lose, um, but I still lose plenty of uh, fights here. And occasionally I get um, a couple of the people that I've been just beating over and over and over. But uh, as I've been uh, progressing along in the leagues here, um, 
most of them are, are getting all about the same difficulty. Like this far right, there's there's absolutely no way I can beat this one here. Uh, a level 80 Rogar will absolutely um, wipe my first, um, you know, my wipe out my first turn for the most part. Even though I'll get, you know, three of my guys going, uh, he'll kill everybody. So if you want to see that, I'm oh, sure, why not? I mean, that's um, level 80 Masuda. Uh, he might actually kill... He might actually kill them before even Rogar, but um, it's likely that I wouldn't even see a second turn here. So my general recommendation uh, for Silver League, for example, is to get out there and um, level up your heroes and get them at your player level and, you know, roll with six star heroes. Uh, you, you just have to. I will show you the uh, effects of my team versus a well-leveled Rogar. Um, even with um, extra crit, bonus attack, um, we only get him down to about 25% health. So in this one here, only about 50%. Um, and then, yeah, he wipes the whole team. So I fully expected that. Um, so, like I said, you need extra stars, but even that, you can't be 10 levels lower either. It's just um, not going to happen. So uh, Stone Fist isn't usually a problem. This one is Rogar. Yeah, this is a pretty text. This is usually a pretty textbook one. Um, one, they're only all five stars, and two, there's no William in there. There's also no Ignis. Uh, Ignis has been really popular as well. Um, this is a particular uh, attack where I could kill Rogar first if I want, um, but there's always the because there's no William, I can kill pretty much anybody that I want to. I think. Um, Nub Nub is an easy kill because he's lower level, uh, but I want to show you, uh, like, at what point can you expect to kill Rogar versus not kill? Um, and truthfully, it does come down a little bit to crit sometimes. If you don't get the crit with uh, Torchy, sometimes you fall, like, a smidget short. So there's that. Um, there's almost no chance that Torchy won't finish the job here. Um, so at this point here... Um, there's really nothing to worry about with Black Diamond. Um, I know she's, you know, she's well liked. People like her. She can do some decent damage, uh, but she's she's just ultimately no threat here as far as what we're dealing with here. So now it's just a matter of um, heals and heals and tanks. So this team here basically can't beat me at this point here. Um, I can work on my own heals, and it's just slowly um, whittling down. Water tanks uh, is the biggest pain as far as uh, the team that I have. Uh, by having all my primary damage being fire, it's just it is what it is. Um, I wish I hadn't ignored taunt um, because this is all going to be essentially for nothing anyways. So we we basically wait for for the the storm to clear on this here. The taunt goes over and then we put everything back on nub nub and then we just slow play it back and that'll be it. Um, See, they're just going to keep going back to full health. That's pretty routine stuff there uh, if you don't kill Numbdub first. But um, I generally prefer to kill uh, Rogar first when I can just because of that AoE damage. I, that AoE damage is the absolute worst thing for this team here because I can't, um, I can't risk losing tons and tons of health across the board. Okay, we will do one more for good measure so you can see the team comp and then... Um, said next week we'll look into something a little bit more uh, deliberate now that I know the, the most frequent flyer enemies out there. Uh, here's one with Ignis, uh, Ignis, Rogar, Balog, and Abigail. So I haven't seen this team specifically. They don't have a healer. Um, they do have a tank. Um, and Ignis and Rogar are both six stars. So um, I've noticed a lot of Ignis out in Silver League, too. I think uh, people just like the burn. He is still a, a glass cannon. He's easy to kill, but the burn damage um, just sits and it kind of lingers. Um, I don't find any one person anymore, I guess, dangerous than the other. I, I feel like Rogar first anyways because he's armored. Um, it just makes sense to, to take him out when he's got the extra stacks of... Um, whatever it's called, the the bonus from Abigail. Yeah, see, he got bonus just from that empowered. 
and just like that you see that he just that's pretty much it so empowered he's got he only got two stacks it's only 10 percent that's attack and crit yeah i truthfully don't know why he got so much i mean two stacks so somebody gave him an extra stack of boosted i don't know exactly where that came from um that's partially why he's got extra uh defense that's why he was able to soak that i think um so maybe a little overconfidence on my part i don't know like i said it was he got me pretty good so there are a few things like that where i don't look at the buffs close enough but um so it pretty much holds here you know I, I win some i lose some and ultimately i obviously progress from the, the bottom of the dumpster all the way up to warlord 2 here uh, if we look at my transition am i going to get to legend for this um this season probably not um i'm i'm not going to press it too much harder i don't think um unless unless i play a little bit more i guess tonight i don't know uh, i'll probably just do it to see if i could i noticed that the matches are getting a lot tougher up here uh, since passing through champion in brawler and gladiator i got a lot of the same low teams over and over and over so um so maybe i'll try to grind out to legend quickly in this one here um we are going to stick around in silver league for a couple of weeks uh before i progress into gold uh, league i just don't know that i have uh, a lot of strong i don't think i have any six star gold so uh, if there's six star gold defenders out there that's going to be tough sledding in that league for me um but I do have all of my guys uh, five star or better. So um, I do recommend that you try to do that before you go to gold league first. And then uh, ultimately in open league, you're probably just going to run the light team anyways. But silver team uh, or silver league offers the most flexibility in what teams you'd actually run. And because I feel like above all else, you need six star heroes to do it. And whatever team that ultimately gives you um, still gives you the best team, um, best likely chance for success. So. If you have thoughts on what you usually do to handle teams that consist of uh, William, Rogar, and Nub Nub, um, and a plus one, uh, let me know what uh, you're running against them. Um, I'll see if I can scrape together some XP potions, and I'll consider that myself. Um, my main smoking gun, I think, is, like I said, I think it's going to be uh, light heroes for the most part, if I can. Uh, something that doesn't get one shot by Rogar. Um, so maybe some water damage uh, i was uh top of my head to start with is thinking of selwyn uh because he's pretty much immune on the first turn uh as well as um yasmin for healing um and then somebody like augustus for tanking who can soak some damage and then dish out aegis wall as well um and then a plus one there haven't really determined um but that's my thoughts right now so uh, with that said, that um, brings an end to our team lab for this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned uh, what to do and not to do. Um, I'll take any questions, comments, concerns. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. And remember, I make YouTube videos for the American working man because that's what I am and that's who I care about.